Oh, it's right now. It's noon. So I'm heading over there now. Struthers. There it is. Oh, Lord. I'm an hour away. 40 minutes. Head north on North Market Street. Toward High so Street. if you guys would let uh, let John Zamodia, John Zamoda know that I'm running a couple minutes behind. I'm 45 minutes away. So I'm going to head over there now. I'm going to head over there now. See, and you, you have a right to knock on any window you want. You have a right to knock on any door. These filthy pigs have made it so that you would be afraid. You would be afraid to flex your rights, to, to let them know that you have a voice and that you have power and that you, you have the same power that they have. They don't have power over you. They don't have rights over you. Okay, so you have a right to be rightfully indignant. This is my job. This is what I do. And I don't stop. Under any circumstances, under any conditions, I will not stop. I will not be detoured. Hello? How are you? Do I need to go through here? Yeah. Anything in your pocket can you put in here for me? Yeah. I'm not for uh, anarchy, I'm for law and order. So I wouldn't do anything wrong in here. I wouldn't break the law. It's not how I roll. You wanna wand me? I have a belt buckle on. Okay. But I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm here just to cover a story. Okay. Grab my phone here. Okay. Sure, whatever you need. You said a belt, right? Yep. There's nothing in my knees, dude. Oh, <laughs> I go to courthouses all over the country. Are you turn up on? I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't do anything illegal, dude. Only other thing you need to do if you lift up your. Uh... Sure, you want to look under my shirt? You're welcome to take a look. Just, just turn up on. Okay, good. Whatever okay. you need, bro. Good. Whatever you need. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with John Zamoda. Okay. If you want, just have a seat. I will go get him. Okie dokie. Thank you. The Cradle of Blue Steel, huh? The Cradle of Blue Steel? Is that what that is? The Cradle of Blue Steel. Is that what that, what, what does the Cradle of Blue Steel mean? Can anybody tell me what that means? I'm a little bit confused. What does the Cradle of Blue Steel mean? Thanks for joining, Garrett. Appreciate you joining the, uh, thank you. Appreciate you joining. Thank you, you guys can join. Uh, did, you, did you get one of these yet, sir? I'm just handing out these flyers just so you know that those two cops are murderers. We caught them planting a gun. It's on camera. And that's why I'm here today to let John know that I'll be suing on Thursday if we don't get all. Just so you know, I'm sure you're not a murderer, but those two guys are. So I just want everybody to know that so that we can get total transparency here. You know, and eventually they're going to get they're going to get charged with murder. It's going to come out. You'll see. Hey, John. Good, good to see you, sir. Good, good to see you. you. Want to talk out here in your office? Out here. Out here? Yeah. Okay. You want to sit on this side of me so I can hold the camera out so people can... Because, uh, you know, the thing is, John, and you can, you can ask anybody on the live stream here. There's 700 people watching. I have said out loud that you and I talk privately. I didn't divulge. As I said, I wouldn't. I won't divulge our private conversation. But during the back and forth on text message, John said that he's a good guy, that he wouldn't cover murder, essentially and that uh, you know, he, he, he has an opportunity to prove his valor. And so, you know, John, the question that I have for you is, have you seen the unredacted body cam footage? I saw all of Officer Sneeman's body cam footage. So did you see the gun being planted? I did not. Okay, and how long before we get all of the unredacted body cam footage? Well, right now, um, we got your public records request. Um, we do have to clear some of that with BCI uh, to make sure it's okay to release. And um, it'll be released, uh, if, if it's something that can be released, it'll be released in a reasonable period of time as is required by state law. Why, why would they 
withhold body cam footage. I'm not saying they, they would. I'm just saying. Why do they? But let me ask you a deeper question. Why is it up to them to release body cam footage when the spirit of the law is more important than the letter of the law? The spirit of the law is that we have body cam footage for transparency, not so that BCI can decide that they're going to withhold body cam footage. So doesn't that go against the spirit of the law, according to your highly educated uh, well, brain? When you have an investigation going on, uh, it, uh, something may not be a public record because of the ongoing investigation. Uh, it will then become an investigation. Once a criminal case is completed, for example, somebody comes in, files a charge for domestic violence, that record is not necessarily um, a public record until the investigation is completed and the criminal case has run its course. Um, same thing here. There's an ongoing investigation. Um, I cleared with BCI. Uh, the release of the body cam of T Officer Steeman's body cam footage to the media, and I will likewise have to clear it with BCI since it's their investigation. It, but it's our it's our footage, and you didn't release all the body cam footage. There's there's three spots that are clearly marked, and that's going to be 1422 to 1438, 1538 to 1638, and 1738 to 1838, where it's clearly missing. Uh, redacted body cam footage and there's also I showed the death of, of James yesterday he has tasers on both sides of him we don't see where anybody fired a taser at him so do you agree that that's not all the body cam footage I would agree I would say that we I know that we released all of the body cam footage to the media if the media edited it for their purposes I don't know um, if they blurred something out because they didn't uh, feel that it was appropriate for the public to see that's the, that's on them um, but we released uh, Officer Steeman's entire body cam footage to the media. I'm in touch with Mr. Runyon, actually. I've been emailing with him back and forth. So I will ask Mr. Runyon if he did redact that body cam footage. But, th but you do agree that the body cam footage that the public has seen has definitely been redacted. There's missing... I don't, I, 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 one, I don't know what the public has seen. What I can tell you is the media may have edited it in some form or fashion. That, that's really all I, can, all I can say about it right now. But you didn't see that, that we don't get to see the tasers being fired. We don't get to see the second round of blasts that shoot James. Did you, you get Youngstown's body cam? We did, and we actually showed that they covered up. They, they worked in conjunction with the Struthers police. Every time they, I released a video last night that is so damning, it's incredible. Every time they got in contact with each other, they'd walk up and say, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. And they literally have learned to work around the transparency of body cams. Well, that, that that's the great thing about the fact that there's an investigation going on. I think all that will, will come out in the wash once the investigation completes itself. And as I've said to you from day one, if there's any, if they find anything inappropriate, I'll be, and if there was the, as you say, the planning of a gun, um, if there was any way to try to do something intentional on the part of any of the officers involved, I'll, I'll join the march with you to make sure everybody gets prosecuted. Um, but right now, I don't have any evidence of that. Okay, and then here's the question I have for you. So, so the guy who was the Youngstown cop, he went around and he took his thumb, and you can see it, it looks just like this. He did this and he covered his body cam on several occasions when Tommy uh, Schneeman asked him to... to Schneeman. Schneeman, when he asked him to get the camera out of there, he literally covered it with his finger. You can see the pink coloration of his finger as he covered the body cam. Is that within the policy and procedures? I don't know, that's Youngstown. What about here in Struthers? Is that within policy and procedures that you cover the body cam footage? Uh, the body cam footage is supposed to be operating at all times when there's interactions with the public. Now, um, the body cam footages are not, uh, they're, they're, they're not, well, they're as secure as possible um, on a police officer. Um, sometimes inadvertently, um, they get knocked off. This wasn't inadvertent, though. I, again, I, did, I didn't see it. I released it last night. You should really watch it. So you can see they covered the body cam footage. Schneeman said, I'm hot, or he turned him. He said, go that way. And they literally covered it, covered it with a jacket. Is this is this the spirit of the law? I, I can't. Is that the so, spirit of the law? I can't really comment on that. I didn't see the video. I John, don't... you're more educated than me. You have got your Juris Doctorate. You have finished law school. You have passed the bar. You have far more education than I do, sir. I'm asking you as someone who could be a mentor to someone who's learning the law like I am, I'd like to know, is that the spirit of the law for transparency that the cops are able to cover the body cam footage? I, again, I cannot say if that officer intentionally covered his body cam But he footage. did. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it could have been a hundred different things, I guess. 
I will take a look at it and I can let you know, but I don't, I don't Well, know. it was a murder from Struthers and the Youngstown cop, you should bring him up on charges for obstruction. He obstructed justice. He was assigned to follow around Schneeman well, and he okay. didn't. Under, please understand that if, if, if that is in fact a true statement that you just made, if there- Yes, what, it is, sir. Okay, if there are char potential charges against an officer for obstruction of justice that, don't forget the incident did, did occur in the city of Youngstown. That, that would be something that he would have to be, uh, the charges would have to be taken up in that jurisdiction. It's not our jurisdiction. Right, but you are the prosecutor for Struthers Correct. and they covered a murder from Youngstown. You have jurisdiction because he covered up the recording of Tommy Schneeman. Tommy Schneeman controlled the entire scene. Well, he and, controlled everything. And, and as I explained to you the last time, if, 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 if again, if in fact that's a true statement, um, then it would be a felony. Uh, and that would be prosecuted by a completely different prosecutor's office. That would be prosecuted by the county prosecutor's office. By the county prosecutor? So Correct. we have to talk to the county prosecutor and submit the, the, the doctored body? He covers it with his finger. Well, he's going. that's where once BCI completes their investigation, they're going to uh, presumably submit that to the Mahoney County prosecutor's office. Uh, with their findings, and the prosecutor's office will make a determination. That they make the determination at that point in time. No, he's telling the truth, guys. He's he's giving us the rundown. He's he's sitting here. He's being a good dude, answering questions that the public wants to know. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Don't judge this man until all the facts are in. So give him a chance. Okay. So now the the other question I have is, you didn't answer it. Is is that the spirit of the law? That that and just for just for Struthers, you can answer this. Mm -hmm. Is the spirit of the law for Struthers that you get body cam footage so that you can cover it? Is that why we and Schneeman if, wears his jacket if, over his body if, cam? If if it is if it is shown that an officer shut his body cam footage down, if he covered his body cam footage for any in, inappropriate reason, um, then that would be a disciplinary matter that would have to be taken up with uh, through the chief with the chief of police. But the chief is, is, is complicit. It's his officers, and we know through the history of time, through the police commissions, that they just turned a blind eye. They don't, they don't actually go after their own bad cops. And it's clear as day that Tommy Schneeman covered up his body cam, wore his jacket, warned others what he was I, what rolling. I, what, I, what, I, what I saw when I, looked, when I saw Officer Schneeman's uh, body cam footage go dark, uh, he had indicated that he was cold. And oh, he, so that and he zipped up the skull. That's all I'm saying. I, I, again, We're talking about murder here, bro. I, I, that's what he said on the camera. Like, this will all be. This would all be. He's flushed cold. Out. How about the guy who's murdered? Is he cold? He will. He will all be flushed His out. His body's cold. It'll all be flushed out once BCI conducts their investigation. What, so no, we don't need BCI to look at a camera, and the people seeing You're the body right, cam doesn't impede their investigation at all. So that's again going against the spirit of the law, isn't it? Especially the Sunshine Act and the Ohio State Constitution. Well, you 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 also can't have. While there is an ongoing investigation out there, you can't have copies of the body cam footage uh, in the hands of people who could potentially docker, doctor or edit uh, the body cam footage. Um, <laughs> the only people doctoring it are the cops. The only people doctoring it are the ones who are releasing it. They put the watermark over it that shows the gun slide out. And, and, and let me ask you a question. We did not put a watermark over anything. Who put the watermark on there? Again, that's something the media prob probably did. The media did that. Uh -huh. So you released the body cam to Runyon, to Mr. Runyon. Yes. You released it completely unredacted, no watermark, no nothing. Well, and I, if, I, if I understand Mr. Runyon's um, issues with the body cam footage, it was more with the audio, not so much with the video. Well, he turned off the audio on several occasions when they wanted to talk privately. Did you know that? Well, it, I, I, it was not, there was no unredacted footage from our body cam. If he did that, I don't know why he did it. I'd have to take another look at it. I'm talking about on the scene. I, so the cop I turned off, muted his camera when Tommy Schienemann asked who him. Who did? The, the Youngstown cop who obstructed justice. Okay. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that footage. Um, I didn't see the Youngstown body cam footage. The only body cam footage that I have seen is, is Officer Schneeman's body cam footage. You know, I would love to hear from Mr. Runyon. I wish he would, I'm sure he's watching this. I'd love to hear from him to see if you got unredacted. Now he's saying that they, you, did you send that over? So you saw the body cam footage sent to Mr. Runyon. You saw what was sent to him? Yes. Okay, so he's saying, Mr. Runyon, that you put the watermark on there and that you redacted. I didn't say you put the watermark on there. That's not what I said. But you gave it to him unredacted. I gave said. it to him unredacted. I don't, 
Mr. Runyon works for the Tribune or the Vindicator. He works that's, for the Vindicator? That's written. That's, that's, that would be a written article. They, I don't know, to the best of my knowledge, um, I have not seen any video on any of the Vindicator or uh, the Vindicator's website or anything like that. It was, again, his, his main complaints were he thought that there was missing audio. Um, I don't know if he mentioned anything about a watermark. If there was a watermark on it, my assumption is you got it from one of the, the, the TV stations who put something on there or blurred it out because they didn't want the public to see some things. Well, you do agree that the, the, the question right now is whether there was a gun planted or not, and that that watermark covers up the last frame or two where we may be able to actually identify the gun, and we also believe that the gun itself has been blurred. And you're saying that you guys didn't do that That's and that correct. the media did that. Uh, I, I'm assuming, that I, what I'm telling you is with certainty is that we didn't do it. Okay. We released it to the media, the, the media, again, they may have done something just to make it watch so that it can be watched on television. Okay. So now... And I would imagine also out of respect for Mr. Sheets' family. Okay, we, we beat the dead horse. So now let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. On camera, Tommy is clearly looking for to someone to go to his car and distracting the guy following him, and he's talking about his water bottle all the time. He even goes as far as to say as, I got to get to that water bottle before BCI finds it. He says it out loud. Okay. Wouldn't that be in your jurisdiction? Wouldn't that be your prosecutor jurisdiction? What's in the water bottle that the, he has to find it before BCI gets it? If, if there was any possible charges that would come out, come out of this because of the possibility of some sort of, uh, uh, as you put it, a cover-up or um, murder. Murder. Um, that, again, would all be part of the county prosecutor's case in here um i they would all be felonies it would be a felony I, I would it would all be felonies um so they would get they would get indicted down in the mahoney county court of common pleas and the county prosecutor's office would prosecute that i that's part of the reason why i'm able to have any type of a discussion with you right now is that um and i think there may be a misunderstanding out there by by some people but um i i, I wouldn't you wouldn't be the prosecutor I wouldn't prosecute. on this. I would be conflicted out anyway, even if oh, I did have jurisdiction. Sorry, one second. Let me yeah. just, I'm just. Five, five minutes, buddy. I got you. You got to go in five minutes? Yeah. Okay, well, I got a couple more questions. Sure. I got five minutes. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. I got, I got a meeting in my private office. I understand that. You have a meeting. He, he, has, a, he has a life. He has, a, he has a, one child that I know of on his Facebook page. He has his own things going on. So now, what about the statement that Tommy made that he has to get that water bottle before BCI gets it? Is that a damning statement for a cop to make when he's being investigated by another agency? Uh, I guess it depends on why he made the statement. He very easily could have made the statement because BCI is likely going to take possession of the cruisers that were involved in that incident, and he had a water bottle that was in the car, and he wanted to get his water bottle out so that it didn't be, didn't, wasn't taken when BCI took the cruisers. It could be that simple. But did you... I mean, I really would like you to watch the video we released last night. It's a full hour. I slowed down the footage in several places where the cops were happy and they were fist bumping. They literally were fist bumping that that James had been murdered. D did you see that? Did you get a chance to look at that? No, I did not. Because, John, the entire integrity of your office is being put in question here. The entire integrity of the prosecutor's office, whether it be this one or others, is 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 in question here. You guys have an opportunity to get in front of this because I'm gonna sue. I am going to sue. If I don't have that body cam footage by Thursday, I don't care, I don't care. And the people of Struthers will have to pay for a response to that lawsuit. And I'll charge you guys for my time that it takes me to fill out that paperwork. I just want you to be clear with this. I know you only have a couple minutes left. I will file a lawsuit by Thursday. I've never lied to the people. I've always backed my word. Why don't you get the body cam footage released. And you, as I told you- You sent it you to the press, you said. Well, the, the press has a little more of a uh, rights under the public record. I am the press. I have 500 videos. I understand. I'm an investigative journalist. I made one cop resign. I mean, they're, they're talking, when they say that, they're talking more of the local- I'm not the, the local, press. To local media. Oh, so the local media has more power than I do? Why? You, you asked the question. Now, if if you have to, if you feel the need, I'm the press. Release file, it to me. If you need, feel the need to file your lawsuit, we again have a 
have a reasonable period of time to get you the information that you requested. It's been 10 days. If you if you feel that it that it is an unreasonable period of time, you have the right to do whatever it is you feel you have to do. I cannot stop that, nor would I even try to. Is Joe Rogan the press? Uh, no. He's not the member of the press? No. And does he have a bigger platform than CNN, Fox, OWN, and every other news agency combined? Does he have a bigger platform? Pro probably. Yes. I mean, especially CNN. So, so, they don't really have much So right do now. you believe then, with a thousand people here watching, that maybe we have a bigger press outreach to the local area than the local press? We are the press. We are the media. Well, I would venture, no offense to you, but I would- I'm offended, I, I would have, as you I can see. I would venture to guess that most, that more people are going to watch uh, the, the local news channels than have watched your videos locally, locally. No, nope. everywhere I went yesterday, one out of two people had seen my videos. And you're telling me now well, that you, you won't give me the, you gave the- I, I didn't say I'm not giving it to you. I said we're processing your request. That's all I but said. You, said you also made a public, you made a public records request that included more than just video. Yes. We are going through your public records request, and we are going to respond when, a, when within a reasonable period of time. But you, you have said, my word. You said that you gave the unredacted body cam footage to the press. I have openly said I'm an investigative journalist. I have over 500 videos. Why won't you get? I am the press. Why won't you give me the unredacted body cam footage if you gave it to the press and they redacted it? Let's prove that you're telling the truth. You have a chance to clear your name right now. No, and you don't know what you're getting until we respond to your public records. You gave it to the press. You have a public records request that includes other items. We are processing your entire public records I just request. want the body cam footage today so I can show the people that you're not lying, that you released it unredacted to the press. I am the press. Is that fair? You, you, your public records request is being processed. It's been 10 days. How long does it take? If you don't get it by Thursday, you're going to do what? I'm going to sue okay. 100 percent. Right. And so, I've never lied to the people ever. I, I have hundreds of confidential informants. I've never revealed one of them. So I'm just telling you, John, okay. why, why can't, if you lease it to the press, why can't I have it now? Because you, you are not what I would consider under the eyes of the law, the local media. Under the eyes of the law? Yes. I'm not press? I didn't, then you don't respect not, the First Amendment. That's not what I just said. Don't okay. twist my words okay. now. Go ahead, John. I said re re repeat it. I said local. I am local, local press. Are, I'm right here on the scene. I've traveled here. I'm staying in an Airbnb. The press has come here to cover this. I am the press. The thousand people watching are the viewers. You are not the, you are not the equivalent right now of 21 or our local uh, television stations, news stations. Um, there's a difference there. When a cop I'm not, And I'm not saying that okay. you are not in any way I mean, not, I, I, not the I, press. I whip this horse as far as I can. You won't, you won't go into it. Okay, fine. So you said that I'm not the press, which is incredible. Didn't say that, buddy. Didn't say What did you say then? You I, said I'm, local, not the lo local. I'm not local media? Yeah. I'm here with my camera reporting, but I'm not local media. How do you justify that in your head with the First Amendment? Because you're not local media. You're not, I am you local media. You don't, you don't have a local news station. You don't have a local newspaper. <laughs> okay. So when a cop shoots someone, shouldn't they be separated from other cops and take away their phone like they would anybody else who shot somebody? Um, I don't. That would be BCI's procedure on their investigation. I would have. No, yeah. Tommy was on the phone the whole time texting people. He was texting the guy with the camera. We, he even answered his question out loud. Tommy texted him, and then the cop with the camera from Youngstown answered his question. Shouldn't they separate the cop, take away his phone, and isolate him so we can get the full story? It was a shitty investigation. It was terrible. Don't know. I don't. I didn't see any any portion of any body cam footage that I saw where BCI was actually on scene starting their investigation. I didn't see. If it was there, I didn't see it. So maybe the policies are wrong. Maybe the cops, when they shoot someone, should be separated. Their phone should be taken away. They should be isolated from communicating with other cops so they can't plan a murder. Maybe that should be the the policy and procedures. Did would you be, see him? It would, it would be. I, I would don't think there's anything unreasonable with what you said. Because he was texting and calling and on his phone, and then he even made a joke that it was his mother. Are we gonna get access to those text messages and those phone calls? Um, it's public I, knowledge. I, I don't even, this is the first I'm actually hearing about text messages and phone calls. Dude, he was on the phone texting and calling a bunch of people. He even said it was his mother and his mother was mad at him. I wanna know if that's true. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that in the video, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know, and hopefully, again, that's something, that's a question that will uh, come out once BCI completes their investigation. Hey, you, you, yo, dude, leave your anti-Semitic shit out of here, dude. 
you're, 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 you, you, I'm, I'm Jewish, so don't, don't start bashing Jews. So someone say I'm Jewish? Someone bashed and said something about a Jew, and I won't put up with any kind of racism or anti-Semitism. I'll have nothing to do with it. So please don't hack people by their race or by their creed. Everybody's free. So now we believe that a murder was covered up. How long before the body cam footage comes? When, what, give me a date. And when do I get the oaths of office that I requested? When do I get the, the, the training and procedures manual that I requested? And I also want to put in a, a submission for, for Tommy's cell phone and the Youngstown cell phone as well. I want to know what those two guys were texting to each other. Is that fair? Well, I can't give you Youngstown. Okay, then I'll go over to Youngstown myself and I'll apply for that. But what about Tommy Sheenaman's text messages? I want to see all of his text messages from that day. You have, you have, so that is a formal public records request that you are making and I will add it to your list. Okay. Okay, John. Anybody else have a question for John? He was good enough to sit here. Give him an opportunity, guys. He said that he saw the body cam footage, but he didn't see any gun being planted. So when we get the unredacted version, then we will take a look at it. I don't want to take up too much of your time, John. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Anything else you want to add to people? Because mm -hmm. it's your reputation, man. I'm trying to make sure that well, you've heard what I've said out loud. No matter what, no matter what I say, and no matter what I do, and no matter how much I talk to you, my reputation with your the people who follow you is. Is, is not going to be good anyway. So. No, it will be. Well, That's not true. The people are amazingly fair, dude. Oh, wow. I'm being honest. The people are amazingly fair. I don't want to look in my, my inbox for my, my messenger. Um, I mean, so. I, I, I've asked them openly. Don't I know be, you have, and, don't, I, and, and I Don't be you. hateful to this man. We I, don't I know appreciate that. If he, it, we don't know the facts. He said he saw the body cam footage. He didn't see a gun being planted. Give him a chance. Give the man a chance. Everybody, you saw me give the lawyer a chance to talk. Give him the chance. We all get a chance to How prove did Columbiana it. go? Uh, uh, what's that? What happened down in Columbiana? In, in uh, Lisbon? Yeah. Uh, they had, they, those dumb pigs, they charged her with obstruction of justice. On video, I gave them the video where she recorded it. The cop says, I know you didn't do this. And then he arrests her, impounds her car. That's, that's malicious prosecution. Wait, right what was she down there for today? Uh, because she has trial for obstruction of justice. Okay, and so she didn't just pick an obstruction charge up today. She was already charged. Right before James was murdered, they, they pulled her over because James had taken her car in the middle of the night, apparently, allegedly. I'm going to go with allegedly here, but he took her car in the middle of the night, allegedly, changed the plates over, had a chase with the cops. Next morning, she gets in her car to go do the things for the kids, and she gets pulled over, and she says, hey, I... I have no idea what you're talking about. And the cop says to her, the chief down there, the piece of garbage, he says, I know that you didn't do this. And then he arrests her. He says, I know you well, didn't do I this. I would hope that that comes out at her trial then. He's he in big trouble. That. He's in, I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to sue him. That's what I do. That's the great I, thing about this country, isn't it? Yeah. It is you, a great you, country. You have the right to sue people yes, if they don't get equal protection under the law and if their Fourth Amendment violation is stripped from them. She was put in a dungeon for two days. She has five kids at home. It caused her such consternation, and it was a wrongful, malicious prosecution. So, all right, John. Um, all right. John, see there? He, I applaud you, John. People are saying they applaud you. He, he's had his chance. Right here, people are, you see that? People are fair, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. You, you have seen the amount of hate for me? <laughs> Look, Dude, like, go as, on as I told you, it's fine. <laughs> I expect it. It's part of the job. It's, it, w w I do the best I can to be the best person I can. So. The amount of hate coming in for me, bro, is just the same yeah, as you I get. hear you. People, full PhDs and lawyers sit in a circle and talk bad about me. I, so I hear you. You know, you, you know, just so you know, I, I know. You probably, you, and you I probably, you probably have, you get a lot more hate than I probably get. So. I get people make full, their whole channels based on me. The whole channel, I, and several channels. <laughs> I, I've actually watched a couple people who have, uh, I'm not going to give their names up on your... No, but I appreciate that. Yeah, um, but I've watched a couple and been contacted by a couple, too. I oh, I'm sure. I haven't been responded to anybody, though. So no, they, people contact really me care. to say bad things about you, and I'm like, no. Until he proves that he's bad, he gets the benefit of the doubt that he's good, that he's a good man. And he has his family, guys. He's, he's, he took a job in the dark ship, but that doesn't mean he's part of it just yet. He could still change and get out of this occupation of a prosecutor. So just give him some time. Give him a little time. And then last thing, John. So you have added to the public information request that I want to see those cell phone records. I want to see yep. the phone calls. I want to see the text messages for that entire day from Tommy and from uh, any other cops on scene because I think it was a conspiracy. I think multiple cops were in on this. I've added it to the list. They we were all very happy. You should watch how they're, they're hiding their celebratory 
uh, uh, inclinations until they're off camera and then they are fist bumping and high-fiving and so super happy. Just letting you know, when you're, you're gonna see it's disgusting. I released a video last night at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and it's already 5,000 people have seen it. Overnight, 5,000 people. You think that's local media? Think that's local people? No. No, you don't. So I don't. I'm, I'm not local media. I, I don't think. I don't. I think most of the people who have watched your video are, are are outside the state of Ohio, probably. Outside of Ohio. Can you guys just type down in here? Anybody's from the local oh, area from Ironton? You got 50,000 50, people. Or how many people watched your video last night? Oh, At least five thousand. All so right. Far. So you got five thousand. How many are in here? Thousand. Okay. Um, I mean, again, Ironton. Ironton's how many hours away? Three hours. It's down by Kentucky. It's more than three hours. Oh, it's six hours. Yeah. Ironton's a six-hour. So drive. you're six hours away. Again, I, you, you, you are protect. You have the First Amendment right to do what you are doing, right? And um, your your public records request is being processed and will be responded to in a reasonable how period many, of time. How, as how many shots were fired? Do you know? According to my count, now I'm just going by what I counted. Mm -hmm. um, I I counted about 15, 16. I counted 14 when I slowed it down to 20 percent. I counted each one. Boom! I'm a I, I'm a producer from Hollywood. Fourteen. Fourteen shots is what I what I counted. Yeah, and I. And, and then we I, don't I, see the rest, you, and then they cut out 15 seconds of video, audio and video, and they cut out a minute later, and then another minute later, and they gave that to us as though people wouldn't look at the timestamp. Just make sure to clarify that when you're the saying audio, the the press apparently did this. Mr. Okay. Runyon did this. I didn't say Mr. Again, I didn't say Mr. Runyon did it. I, I'm not saying I don't know where you've got the video from. If you got the video from, from online, I ripped it directly from offline. Right, and you might have got it from WFMJ, WKBN. I don't know where you got it from, but I, I'm venturing. My guess would be that you did not get it from the Vindicator or the Tribune. If you did, then I stand corrected. But um, I, I don't know where you got it. Okay, okay, okay. I've asked you everything, and so I'm looking forward to getting that, that footage and yep. stuff. I have court in Ironton on Thursday, so I'll be in Ironton, but then I'll- I might come, come down and see it. You gonna come? No, I'm actually in a jury trial here. You gonna, you gonna come? That, I wish I, I could, I, I wish I, I could. Would, John, my goal is to get you to quit this bullshit job and come and join us. Come and offer your services over here, and I'll do a fundraiser for you, and I'll get you a year, yearly salary. That's what I want. I want a good lawyer on our side who will help the people, and tell me what your yearly salary has to be, and we'll raise it. We'll raise it for you. Well, right now, right, but this job sucks. I, as I said to you, one of the first time that I spoke to you, um, I'm not necessarily doing this because I want to be the prosecutor. I, I'm doing this um, because our, our city needs an attorney, and um, right now, I'm, I'm right now I have things that are entirely unrelated to the police, the criminal courts. It's more uh, some of the stuff we have going on in the city. Um, that, that my city needs assistance with, and I'm going to uh, continue to help them for right now. Um, now, you know, the future, no one can predict what the future holds, um, but uh, right now, um, I'm just here to try to do what I can to work with the mayor and making sure that we um, improve our city the best we can. Okay, okay. Well, that I'll, I'll let John go. You guys, you heard what he said. He's, he's doing the best he can is what he said, and he's gonna get us that footage and he's gonna get us the text messages. Okay, John. See ya. Thank you. You good? Good luck, good luck on the, uh, get it off. Oh, shut it off for a second. So they got four days before I file a lawsuit. And as you guys know, I do exactly as I say I'm gonna do every time. And if I don't have that footage by Thursday, then we file a lawsuit. Have a good day, sir. Okay. So if, if you guys are, uh, make sure you go by, make sure you guys go by deletelaws.com and pick up one of those indestructible trifolds, pick up a poster or an ebook, uh, pick up uh, uh, the ebook you read to children. Uh, make sure you guys go by deletelaws.com and support the channel by either uh, buying one of the products or contributing. I do appreciate it because under any circumstances, no matter what occurs ever throughout the rest of this life, we don't stop. We don't stop. Thank you, YouTube turns. We don't stop. We don't stop until we get the justice, the transparency, the tr truth for the people of this country. We have created a dog shit system where cops can turn on and off their body cameras, where they walk around saying, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. And then they, they, they skirt justice, they skirt transparency. And so for that reason, we don't ever, ever, ever stop. Ever, ever. So please, 
go by the website, delete laws, get the indestructible trifold, keep it in your car. Do not talk to police, use the trifold. I've teach several lessons on it. Make sure that you don't talk to cops. Make sure you do not talk to cops. Okay, make sure you guys get that trifold and put it in your car, the indestructible trifold. Use it, defend yourself so that you don't, you don't have to talk to cops. They're only trying to arrest you. Listen guys, we don't stop. We don't stop, we don't negotiate, we don't back down, we push, we fight. We never ever stop the fight until the fight is won. The mistake I made last year is I stopped the fight in the middle of the fight. I'll never do that again. I'll never do that again. All right. All right, I hate to leave 800 people, 860 people, but I gotta get going. I gotta go, I got stuff I gotta do. Look at that fever blister on my chin, just horrible. It's from stress, it's from stress. So, listen, love you guys, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat, guys. God bless you. 